Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R-Squad911, back again with another unboxing video. Today we have something really, really cool we, um, for the upcoming uh, Frozen Empire movie. Um, this is the Ghostbusters PKE meter with light and sound. Uh, but what's even cooler about this, oh, kind of gave it away there with my hand in the picture, is this is a miniature pocket size PKE meter. Uh, this is made by Running Press. Uh, this is Ghostbusters approved. And uh, yeah, this is the box here. There's the whole team, the whole gang there. Really nice box um, with uh, these spot UV lamination um, logos. You can see the, the sheen on it with the matte finish. Uh, same here with this Ghostbusters logo. Really cool right here. Deluxe Mega Kit. I don't know if the word mega should be used in this. This thing is so tiny. Um, I reviewed recently the uh, ghost trap here which has light and sound just quickly show you guys that i have another video of me unboxing this really cool uh, but yeah today we have the pke meter i think in that video i was saying like oh there should be a proton pack or a pke meter and i think they make both but uh, let's open this thing up, shall we? So, box just like the other one. <laughs> There's the PKE meter right there. That's really cool. And then, oh, got another sticker book, instruction manual. Don't need the instruction manual. And we will look at what is inside this book. Ghostbuster sticker book. Get the cool retro... 80s kind of look of uh, almost like Miami Vice-ish on this uh, logo. Actor One, Slammer doing his little pose there, little glamour shot. We got Zool with the terror dog. Too cool for Zool. <laughs> oh man, I gotta stick these on something. It's a gatekeeper. Choose your destructor. There is the ghouls and the ghosts driving the taxi, New York taxi. Another Ghostbusters logo. And that's it. Pretty cool. Uh, this thing was only $13. No, was it $13? No, it was $18 Canadian. And I believe these are on sale on Amazon.com. In the US, we're only $11 US, so that's pretty amazing. Okay, let's open this guy up. Without cutting or scratching the PKE meter. I am pretty good with an X Acto knife, so. Open this guy up here. And that's, that's it right there. Cool. And then this is where the battery is because right now nothing works. There's another, oh, oh that kind of freaked me out. <laughs> uh, spring loaded. So press that button in the back, this button here, and boom. I guess I won't be able to adjust different sizes, but what can you expect from something this small? Small but mighty. Wonder if that lights up and these light up. But see, here is my spirit Halloween um, PKE meter. This is life size. You know, slight modifications to the screen and some of the buttons here. But that's it right there. And you can see them side by side together. So cute. All right, so let's pull this battery tab there. And then that button doesn't work. Maybe you have to open it up and then press the button. Or not. Is there an on button? Has this been in storage for so long that the batteries no longer work? Do I have to hold the trigger button and that? Oh. So 
something's happening there. So I think the batteries are dead. Oh, there we go. And they just died. You can kind of hear the batteries dying. Oh, there's some lights there. Oh, so it's working now. Maybe just needed a little hit and a little shake. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's turn off some lights here. Uh, let me turn off some lights. There we go. Wow. Those are the lights on there. And it gets faster and faster, and then it slows down. Even the lights are blinking on this thing. Press that button again, it goes faster. Press it again, it turns off. So turn it on, it goes a different direction now, and then slower. And then it changes another direction when I press the button again, it turns off. So top right to bottom left on the initial press, press it again and it's top left to bottom right. And then press it again, it's off. And it doesn't retract obviously on its own, you gotta click that by itself. And it does work with it closed. So right now it's going slow. When it starts going faster, I'm gonna hit the button in the back. Looks like it's going lower. Press it again. Still slower. Oh, it's slow when it's closed. I see. I'll press the button now and it'll probably go fast. And it turned off. And now it goes faster. Then you close it and it goes slower. And I think there must be something loose in here that is making it shut off. Yeah, I think the batteries are a little dying on there. But you get the point. When I close it, it goes slower. And then if I open it, maybe not as hard. It doesn't jar the battery loose or something. And then this light starts flashing. And then when you close it, oh, I thought the other light was flashing before. Oh, it does. When it goes top right to bottom left, this light flashes here. And then when it's top left to bottom right, this light flashes. That's, that's a lot of functionality for something so small and tiny. Um, so I'm super impressed with that. Let's turn the lights back on. Yeah, I mean the screen looks better than even my modified screen and obviously looks this looks better than the factory screen but uh, Wow, I'm impressed with that. I'll probably hit these two little buttons with some red paint there just to make it a little bit more accurate <laughs> uh, But yeah Super cool. And there you have it guys. That is the running press miniature pocket size PKE meter. Uh, definitely a, a great addition to anybody's collection. This is so cool. If you have, I guess the, the trap. Oh, see, once I hit it, it turns off. So definitely something's loose in there. But uh, yeah, that's the, the ghost trap and the PK meter. Super cool. All right, so that's my quick unboxing, show and share sort of deal today. Please like and subscribe, comment below. Are you gonna get one of these? They're pretty cool. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.
Hey guys, I'm back just adding this at the end of the video. So the issue is, yes, these batteries are quite old. Uh, they are leaking battery acid all inside here. So you can kind of see it there. So when you guys pick up one of these, just kind of open it up, check the batteries, make sure they're okay. Um, this one's slightly leaking. I'll just use a little of uh, baking soda and water on uh, the contacts just to, you know, neutralize the battery acid there and everything should be good. But just double check it. If you have too much battery leakage, it's probably better to return and get another one. Uh, but I uh, just want to share that with you. Okay, guys, second update. I cleaned up all the battery acid that leaked out of here. Uh, with some baking soda and water you just kind of uh, make a little paste and just dab a little bit on there it'll neutralize the acid then you just wipe it clean then uh, make sure it's all dry afterwards you, you know water electronics don't work but now we can test it again turn it on and then you hit the button in the back And after a second or so, it starts to go fast. It, I guess it just activates a sensor that it feels that when it's open. But yeah, now it doesn't turn off when I open it up, which is great. So yes, when you get one of these things, guys, and you know, you have, you should just double check the battery. I checked the batteries on the ghost trap and it was totally fine. So uh, yeah, definitely a great buy, especially for $13 or $11 US and $18 Canadian. All right, so catch you guys in the next one. Peace.